You know, I, I, I'm scared, Mr. Muhammad. Yes, I'm really scared. When I quit the drugs, I had you and the nation to lean on, and now I feel like I don't have anyone. But I'm not going back to the drugs. And I'm not going to lean on my family. And you still want to be in the movement? Yes, sir. You understand I have to punish you. So you've done such a good job with me, I can... I can stand on my own now, which is pretty much the way it's been. I understand what you're saying, Malcolm. But I have to silence you for 30, no, 90 days. And I accept the punishment as just, Mr. Muhammad. That means you can't speak at the mosque. I'll get someone to speak and, until the sentence is served. And remember, that means no talking. You are silenced. In mosque, mosque number seven, now I, I can't talk there, I can't say anything there? Silenced! Like my brother I Reggie. I said silence. I, I bring only the truth to you, Mr. Muhammad. Now, it isn't pleasant, I know that. You're a great man. I, I owe you everything in my life. But to silence me in my own mosque, all right, I, I won't make any speeches. I, I won't whisper. Please, please, let me speak in my own mask. Do you submit? Sir, I, I built that mask. Now it, it feels like my own hand. Every, every stone, every chair. I sweated, I, I bled, I almost died doing it. Do you submit? My friends, my family, they all want to know. Now should... Betty, my wife, will want to know. Now should I look at her for 90 days in silence? No, it's unjust. The directors were unjust. This, this whole sense of dictatorship is unjust. <laughs> 